we launched Cummins Powers Women, an $11 million grant program to advance equality for women. It's been a remarkable success. Cummins Powers Women has improved the lives of over 100,000 women. We've done so with your help and with your hard work. As you watch these videos and hear from some of our colleagues around the world who are engaged in this work and they share their thoughts on the progress made and the challenges remaining, think about becoming a Cummins Powers Women Ambassador. You won't regret it. Gender equality is just the right thing to do. Uh, it's about fairness and it's about justice um, at a very, very basic level. But then when you look at it in more detail, uh, it's better for business, it's better for society, there'll be less wars, less poverty, the environment will improve, um, all through the simple act of gender equality. I am quite uh, very proud and quite frankly, I feel fortunate to work and lead uh, in a company like Cummings in this region that really recognized these challenges and most importantly that has decided to do something about it. So myself and my team, we are committed to continuing the actions of uh, improving gender representation and gender equity and to most uh, uh, importantly influence other organizations and really the community around us because the gender of uh, the issue of gender equity is fundamental and is not just the right thing to do that is good for the society. We launched a series of local CPW projects, including the Yanchuan Pile Fabric Arts Program in remote areas. I just want to share with you how beautiful this arts work is. Dr. Lin, female engineering student support project at campus, and the female technician student support projects in communities. I'm deeply impressed by an employee's passion and their active engagement and strong support to the CPW initiatives. Um, one of the things that I'm, I'm really proud of and have been most closely involved with as part of the um, Cummins Powers Women programme is our partnership with Rosa. And last summer they asked me to be part of their panel. The whole day was really inspiring and encouraging and the whole panel um, uh, felt that we were able to um, encourage and support some really worthwhile organisations who are making a real impact in their local communities. I see uh, women not being accepted well uh, in positions of power. I see that there is pay disparity between what women are paid, which is a lot lower than what men are paid. And I see reluctance to accept women as equals. There are some parts of our region uh, where it's very um, hierarchical and male dominated. There are some parts of our region that sexist jokes are still okay. Um, so we really need to act as individuals, calling out behaviour, doing things locally, whether it's in your schools and your workplace. Every day you can find an opportunity to make a difference. So I think uh, one of the major challenges we, we have to uh, progress in a, at a faster pace on uh, gender equality is uh, the lack of uh, self-awareness of uh, your own privileges. So I think with that, uh, the, we can uh, advance at a faster pace on gender equality. Uh, just to elaborate a little bit more about the barrier to gender equity in our region, you know, this is really rooted in the patriarchal nature of the societies in many countries in this region. So a patriarchal society which is male dominated, where the wife is pretty much like a property to their husband, and where many husbands can simply uh, make the decisions to, uh, to prevent their wife from being able to work and to be economically emancipated. And my basic feeling about this women and girls empowerment is um, that we have reached a place in our country, in our world, where we have no excuse, just none, for the, for the difference in treatment of women and men. So all of us have to ask ourselves, what am I doing about that? Please join us in the CPW program to create a diverse and inclusive culture that will benefit us all.